Good evening, everyone. We have been hearing a lot about the growing influence of artificial intelligence, and we begin tonight with its potential to revolutionize science. Canadian and U.S. researchers used AI to narrow down thousands of chemicals and fast-track the discovery of a new antibiotic. As CTV's Adrian Gobriel reports, it could be used to treat a superbug the World Health Organization calls a critical threat. In the world of medicine, AI has put biologists on a bullet train towards transformative trials. Artificial intelligence approaches are going to fundamentally transform how we discover new human medicines. Inside this lab at McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario, Professor Jonathan Stokes and his team have been harnessing the power of AI for the last two years. The result? The creation of an antibiotic that has the potential to defeat a deadly bacteria identified as a critical threat by the World Health Organization. The name of the bacterium is Acinetobacter bomanii, which is a mouthful. I believe it's public enemy number one when it comes to antibiotic resistance. The drug-resistant pathogen lives on door handles, on top of tables, and a long list of surfaces inside hospitals and long-term care centers. It causes infections, pneumonia, and death. New antibiotics are quite urgently needed. With good reason. A study found 1.2 million people died from antibiotic-resistant bacterial infections in 2019. To get to this point, have you had to train your AI model? 100%. In your mind's eye picture, like a stack of flashcards where everyone just has a different chemical structure on it and you just start showing it. And it'll say, I think this could be an antibiotic. I don't think this one. I don't think this one. Probably this one. Once fully up to speed, it took artificial intelligence just an hour and a half to produce a short list of strong predictions. We can look at those and then go into the laboratory and test. That's a relatively small set of chemicals as opposed to like the whole list. The new antibiotic has since successfully treated infected wounds in mice and killed bacteria samples taken from human patients. A quantifiable quantum leap in a field of research a century in the making. The next step is to perfect the drug and then perform clinical trials. Professor Stokes expects it'll take until 2030 before AI antibiotics are available for prescription. Omar. All right, Adrian, thank you. That